everybody welcome back so um you can see dad's behind me here but we're on the grill today i know i look really messy it's because we've been gone for the past three days fishing and my hair is not greasy not literally so. three days well no not constantly three days but this will be bad like four really hours bad. every night yeah but today i know this pine grove cooking thursday but um yeah we've been fishing all day and we got home late so and I know the internet it would take forever for it to upload tomorrow if it did tomorrow. And uh, so we're going to we're gonna do this for Pine Grove Cooking Thursday today. I know it's not in the pines, but I thought you guys would like this. And Dad thought it too. So um, he's going to show us how to cook some trout on the grill. And uh, yeah, I'm going to help too. But yeah, I'm not a professional. so He's not a professional, but he's done this for a long time. With the comments. Yeah. <laughs> this might not even turn out. You can see it won't even melt this butter. Yeah, you see it just blew up a minute ago, so I had to take this side off. Yeah, the grill blew up because it it's, the fire got blew out and then it built up propane. I ignited it and almost blew the top off. Yeah, so rather than ruin the fish that we did cast, we're gonna do one. As <laughs> you can see, the temperature is not cooperating here. Butter's not really melting. That's not yeah. in a lot of temp. So he's gonna show us how to cook it today. <clears throat> yeah, this will kind of spoil a future video, but um, we caught three trout today. Uh, yesterday we caught one. Another okay. one got given to us, and then um, wait, we, we didn't catch any before that. But today I caught four total. Or no, I had five. I had to let two go because they were too small. I caught, and then I caught two other ones which were big enough like nine inches that's two over and then i got um i got the uh man one i had one it was like a 10 inch one and it fell off the hook so okay guys so figured i'd stop that and then switch over to here but uh we got a nice trout here and we're gonna again. one of the three today i think that's the first one i caught today because it looks very very dead compared to the other ones we've had but yeah or see what he's putting on like I said he's kind of doing it today and when I do the catch and cook for the other trout um, see that would you put on there just some Italian seasoning Italian seasoning once Even again the skin comes yeah off, this is a stock brown trout by the way I forced to have it yeah so it is it is almost dark it's like 10 minutes till dark actually it is kind of dark but we have a full moon so and that looks very good so he just put the Italian season and white stock it trout with butter and that on tin foil. Cause I've never done this, so he's gonna show me. And I haven't done it in many years. So no. It'd be nice so, if we had a little hotter fire. Anything else to this before I come back, to, like halfway check? No. All right. Might be in the morning, though. Yeah. It smells good. Yeah. I wish this would focus more, but it's not really focusing on this fish. Yeah. There we go. Italian seasoning and butter. Hey guys, so while that's cooking and Dad's watching it, I gotta put Tom and the chickens and ducks in in a minute. But uh, you can see there's Tom. He's waiting for me to tuck him in. He doesn't go in until all the other ones are in. So yeah, he's waiting for me. So I'm gonna do them while it's cooking. And it'll probably be dark, but we have lamps and uh, lights there. Yeah, I'm gonna go put Tom in. So no raccoons or, well not raccoons, but fox or anything get him. So I'll put him in now. Okay guys, so... We're back. I put Tom in, and uh, the fish is done. That's it. It is done. Gordon Ramsay would be impressed. Yeah, I bet. The skin is falling off. He didn't off. salt the heck out of you. This would be $18.95. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well. We caught it today. It's fresh. TV, we will try it. Fresh, we caught it today. I was always told when the eyes turn white, it's done. This one's black. I think I covered it with parsley. Or Italian season. The other side is white, so you have to trust me. You smell the skin off? I almost feel like I'm at Red Lobster. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That took so quick. Yep. It's real small. Now, even if this tastes bad, I'll still say it tastes good. Because that's what you're supposed to do. I did Dad taste it first, then I'll have some. Believe you me, I will tell you the truth. Good? Very impressed. Why? 
I don't know if it's because I got a stick of butter on it, but <laughs> that was amazing. Really? Yeah. You just gotta pick it off the bones. Try yeah, because you'll choke. Here you go. I feed you that little baby. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> go on, little baby. Eat your twelve. It's very good. That's really good. Yeah. You said you never liked trying. That's actually good. Well. Yeah, that's it. I haven't had them in such a long that's time. That's really good. I mean, as you can see with my frame, I would have to eat a school of these to be full, but I suppose if you didn't have the butter, this would be a healthy meal. <laughs> Tastes like really good. I cannot get over the taste of that. It's really good. We were raised eating this these. This only took like 15 minutes to cook. And then so if we you guys changed. want to try it, I'm sure a lot of you already cook it this way if you do try it. And then we went for crappy and walleye and forgot that those are very really good. There you <laughs> go, son. <laughs> Fill up. Mm. Wow. So it tastes like a... tastes like fat on a steak. It really does. So we're going to enjoy this. Actually, honest to God, I'm pregnant. Finish this with dad, but yeah, there'll be no waste for this. It's good because dad told me, you know, it had like a weird taste, but well, it's I actually, it out, I think, because I mean, look, it's at actually how, delicious. Look how that there was no filet in it because the bones were too small, but yeah, it just falls right off of that. I mean, <laughs> if you had a couple of these a little bigger with a potato and a, a loaf of bread, it would fill me up, yeah. Well, well, we got enough more. I mean, enough more. Yeah, no, that's not weird, but we got enough. Yeah. I didn't graduate, but enough. Graduate. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna feed my little son one more time. <laughs> All right. He never lets me on his videos. Yeah. So, you'll probably delete me. Mmm. You guys gotta try that. Yeah. That's unreal. Very impressed. You said now these are the one o'clock. Catch more. This is a trout that you go out. When they stock them, a little sock trout. It's delicious. It's a shame they're so small. Yeah, but this, a lot of there's people actually a lot of meat though. Why'd you keep it? That's just the size of what they put yeah, in. Yeah, brown trout. And fortunately, they're so far up from the lake, once the water's warm, they'll die. Yeah. It's just really for. It's just stock for kids to go fishing. Yeah. So it's start, starting to really get crispy there from yeah. sitting, but. We're going to finish this, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know my hair is greasy, as always, in these videos, but, yeah, it was actually really good. So, that was it for Pine Grove Cooking Thursday. I know this is more of a, like, a catch and cook, but just the cook part. It's more of a celebrity with me. Oh, yeah. Put in here. Yeah. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and see you in the video, whatever's next. And um, there's a video coming out of us actually trout fishing today. The other day and the day before that. So, yep. Thanks for watching, guys.